You are so wonderful. Well, you should drink more often. It was so sweet of you to do this. Bring me all the way up to Napa for dinner? You know, you didn't have to do that. Well, I wanted to do it. Getaways are good. Good getaway. It was just what I needed. Mean. The mountains and the beautiful vineyards and, ugh, oh, the wine. <laughs> well, you certainly enjoyed the wine. Huh? The like Chardonnay it. was so good. Yeah, that was good. The Merlot was mm -hmm. spicy. And the Pinot and the Cabs and the Zinfandel. <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know which one I liked the best, so I just thought I should try them all. Yeah. Maybe a few times. Yeah, you know, that's why we went. What, to drink? <clears throat> Pretty much so, yeah. Maybe I went a little overboard. No, I don't think so. It was just such a relief to finally get away. Away with you and get away from all the busybodies. Busybodies? Why, whoever are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I'm just so sick of Jackie and Stephanie and Taylor telling me how in love you are with my mother. But I love you. I love you. Only <laughs> you. I know you love me. Well, if you know it and I know it, that's all that matters. <sighs> it's all that should matter. The busybodies are getting to you, aren't they? Tell me. Huh? Well, it's just... It's a little disappointing when you thought that your wedding was going to bring your families together and... <sighs> People keep telling you to postpone the wedding or wait until Ridge gets back or... Maybe you shouldn't get married right now. It's enough to just drive you crazy. <laughs> well, how crazy exactly? I don't know, just... Great... Great... Why? You feel like doing something crazy? Something that'll put a cork right in their mouth? <laughs> you try to put a cork in Stephanie's mouth and she'll spit it right back out of your face. Well, Stephanie can't tell you not to marry me if you've already married me. What? What do you mean? Get, you mean get married right now? Well, forget about these families. You're stuck on the family. You put Stephanie, my mother, and Taylor in the same room and it's a recipe for disaster. You know that. Well, yeah, I Sticky, but I... Well, is that what you want? Do you want a sticky wedding? No. Good. Because you know what I want? I want this. I want to make you happy. I want to be happy together as husband and wife. Oh, God. I love the sound of that. Good. Then it's set. No more fooling around. I'm going to give you a job, okay? Okay. You find the champagne and get it open. I'm going to go to the pilot and have him change courses because tonight... <laughs> We're getting married, beautiful. <laughs> ah, champagne, good. It's all set. What's all set? Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Vegas? That's right, Vegas! That's what we should have done in the first place, Vegas. You feel it? You know it's right? That way we don't have to go through these families and these women talking in your ear, making you all crazy about whether we should be married, whether we shouldn't be married. <sighs> there's a little... There's a little chapel that I've seen there before, and there's this nice little tuxedo shop right next to it, and they've always had this light blue powdered tuxedo in the window with the ruffles. Seriously, deep down, I like ruffles. <clears throat> Do you know what is unique about this one moment right now? What? Is that I... I will never make love to you again as a single man. And that's because in a few hours, I'm 
gonna be Mrs. Dominic Maroney. Yeah, but you know what I'd like to have? I'd like to have Bridget Forrester one last time. She available? Hmm? I think so. Really? I'm just...